Hey guys, let's go grab some chicken and fry it. Oh yeah. So the first thing we're gonna do is make a brine for the chicken. Pour about a cup of milk in a container and add salt, pepper, garlic powder, paprika, and some hot sauce. Mix well and set aside. Next, grab your chicken. I'm using one of these giant chicken breasts that they have here in Spain. Take the tender off and get rid of any bloody spots and bone fragments. Then, slice up the breast as evenly as you can. Once you finish, put them in the brine. Make sure they're all covered up and let it sit in the fridge for at least two hours. Two hours later and now we're gonna make the dry flour mix. One cup flour, two tablespoons potato starch, two generous pinches of salt, one teaspoon garlic powder, one teaspoon paprika, freshly ground pepper, and give it a good mix. Next, the batter. One egg, one cup flour, one teaspoon garlic powder, one teaspoon salt, pepper, and some milk. Mix it well and you should end up with a thick but not too thick batter. So here's how this is gonna go. Wet, dry, wet, dry. But first, one spoon of the brine goes into the dry mix so that it can form some clumps that'll turn into crispy bits of heaven later on. Now, chicken goes from the brine to the dry mix and then takes a bath in the wet batter and then dries off in the dry mix. Got it? As you're doing this, make sure you shake off any excess before going to the next step. If you don't, you're gonna end up with a thick, cakey coating to your chicken. And I don't think you want that. For the last few pieces, I'm gonna try something. I like spicy fried chicken, so let me add some bulldog sauce to the batter and see what happens. Mix it in well and continue with the process. Same as before, except hotter. Now that we're finished, it's time to fry. Add your frying oil to a deep pot or pan and turn up the heat to medium high. Don't fill it up past halfway, cause one, oil expands when hot, and two, you don't want oil splattering everywhere. Very dangerous. You can check if it's ready by sticking a wooden chopstick or spoon in it. If it starts bubbling like this, then it's go time. Put your chicken in by laying it away from you. That way, it doesn't splash on you. And don't be scared, the further away you drop it in from, it's more likely to splash on you. Let it go for at least a minute or two before touching it. If you touch it too early, you'll probably disturb the coating before it has time to set. Cook it for seven to eight minutes and take them out and drain. Give the oil a little cleaning before the next batch and then do as before. Easy, right? Check it out guys. Mmm. Mmm. 
Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Hope to see you next time. Bye.